What is going on everybody and welcome to part 36 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are just going to be printing out error messages whenever something goes wrong just so the player knows exactly what's happening and they're not confused. So for this we're going to be working in our concommands.lua file as well as our init.lua file. So go ahead and get those open and let's get started. First thing we want to do here is just go to our con commands file and let's start with our by gun function. So we want to do a few things here. We are first of all we're checking to make sure that their player level is greater than or equal to the level requirement. So if their player level is not greater than or equal to that level requirement, let's go ahead and print something out so they know what's up. So we do else. And then right inside of here, we want to go ahead and print out a message to the player. So we'll do poy colon print message. And we are going to be doing, the first one is just where we want to print it. So we want to do HUD underscore print talk. And that's just going to be displaying this message in their little chat area. And I'm also going to be showing you two more different ways of doing this uh, at the end of this video. But for now, this is how you get it in that chat box. After this, we want to go ahead and put the message itself. And this message is going to be, you must be level, then we want to concatenate onto that, so dot dot, followed by the level requirements, so level req, dot dot again, to purchase this item. And close that up. And then after that, that's all that we want to do for that player level. And we want to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the balance. So if they do not have enough money, let's go ahead and do else. And let's go ahead and actually print out the message telling them that, hey, you do not have enough money. So what we want to do is you do not have, you can put whatever you want in here. This is just a, this is just a default thing. So if you can't think of anything right now, just go ahead and throw this in there just so you know it's working. So you do not have enough money, and let's spell that right, enough, enough money to purchase this item. So with that, what will happen is that if they don't have the right level or the right balance, it will go ahead and tell them so then they'll know what's up, and then they can go ahead and fix that. But that is all that we want for the buy gun command. Let's go into our buy entity command, and all we want to do for this one, there's actually two things we want to do here. And the first thing we want to do in here is we want to go ahead and separate this if statement here. So we want to go ahead and move this balance greater than or equal to end cost to its own if statement. So we're first going to check the end count. Then we want to check if, and paste that back in, if the balance is greater than or equal to the cost of an entity. So let's do all that and end. And we also got to put the then there. So now we can go ahead and do proper error checking here. So with this end count, we want to put an else. Send the message to the player. So print message again. And the same place, just the HUD underscore print talk. And this message will be that you already have the maximum amount of this entity type. Because we are limiting the amount of entity that they can, or the amount of one type of entity they can spawn, we want to go ahead and make sure that they know what's up and why they can't spawn it anymore. So, and along with this, we're going to be putting the max equal to concatenate on the int dot limit. So then they know what the max is. And also, same thing we did down here with checking for the balance, we want to go ahead and print out an error message that's telling them that they do not have enough money. So poy colon print message, HUD print talk again, and this will be the same exact thing, just you do not have enough money to purchase this item. And now we can go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and go into game now and check this out. So we do that by pressing F4 to the shop. And if I go to try to buy something with $0, it will go ahead and instead of just leaving me hanging and making me wonder why I can't buy anything, it will go ahead and tell me in that chat area that you do not have enough money to purchase this item. And I can do the same exact thing with the level requirement here. So give me one second, let me change this. And now if I go ahead and try to purchase this, I set the requirement to 13. So when I click it, it'll tell me that you must be level 13 to purchase this item. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to purchase it. And the same thing goes with buying entities. 
I don't have enough money for this currently, and if there was a requirement on it, it would go ahead and tell me that I don't have the required level in order to purchase that either. So there is that. Those are the error messages. And there are other options we can do with this. And let's change this one here to HUD underscore print center. Save that. Go back into game. And if we try to purchase it again, it'll go ahead and tell us in the center of our screen. So it's hard to see, but it is there that I must be level 13 to purchase this item. And then another thing is I can just go ahead and print it directly to the console by doing HUD underscore print console, like so. So save that again, run it, and this way, when you buy it, nothing will show up, but it will show up in console right there. And let's go ahead and do one last thing before I end this video, and that is just going to be to display a level up message whenever the player has the required amount of experience. So let's do that now. Let's go to our init.lua file in the check for level function. And right here where we are checking in this if statement if their current XP is greater than or equal to the EXP to level, let's just send them a simple congratulatory message such as set up first POY colon print message. And we'll do the same exact thing. We'll put it in the text box again, so HUD print talk. And we're just going to do congrat, congratulations, congratulations, you are now level, and concatenate onto that their new level, so it'll just be current level plus one, and then concatenate onto that a period. And if I go ahead and spawn just one crow here to level up, kill it, you can see that in the chat box it says congratulations, you are now level, followed by whatever your new level is, so in this case 13. So that is how you do error messages as well as congratulating the player when they level up. So that right there will conclude part 36 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.